Good morning, everybody, from the highways and byways of Winterpeg. We're doing what we do. We're doing some trucking. Got to go pick up a load of lumber for one of our highway drivers. The lumber is sitting in Oak Bank on the west side of the city. The vlog today may be a little shorter. I worked pretty late yesterday. And I didn't get to bed till later than usual, so I'm a little bit more tired than usual today, but we're doing all right. I just want to make it a little bit easier for me this evening when I have to edit. So you may have noticed we're back in the old beast. I'm excited. I missed her. You know, I like that other truck, 2025, for many reasons, but I like this truck for more reasons. You know, she may have a busted up steering wheel and paint chipping off and rust galore but she feels like you know my truck already feels like home she turns a lot sharper too than the other one so it's, it's handy in the city we have an empty flatbed behind us a 53 foot flatbed we're gonna kick some butt this Friday Tomorrow I have to go into work to update some of my courses, uh, transportation of dangerous goods and stuff. I've, I haven't hauled dangerous goods here at Keystone yet, but uh, judging by the fact that they're pulling me in on a Saturday for this course, I guess I'm going to be hauling some dangerous goods. I don't know. I don't even know what kind of stuff we would haul, but you know, we haul all kinds of stuff. All kind, every day it's something different, it seems. Every day. You know, I delivered two boats yesterday. That was one happy customer. He was very happy to get those boats. They came all the way from Texas. He says that's how hard it is to get a used boat nowadays because everybody's buying everything up, right? Same thing with RVs and stuff. Everybody's buying everything up. So it's difficult to find a good quality used boat, apparently. That's what he said. So they, they bought one all the way from Texas, went through all of the, you know, the headaches of getting it shipped up here and everything. and duties and taxes and everything but now he's got two boats I think he's gonna sell them or you I don't know it sounded like he was gonna flip them not literally flip them but I mean like you know what I mean fix them up and sell them for a profit I have no idea if that's how hard they are to come by up here he probably will make a profit because people are probably paying a lot more for them then but yeah that was fun that was fun long day yesterday but I'm not complaining I like those long days I mean every day might be a little bit too much but you know here and there a long day it makes up for the short days so they had actually gotten this truck into the shop really quick like that same day it was in the shop and out of the shop yesterday uh, they replaced one of the sensors I believe that was uh, triggering the engine light to come on apparently that happens quite often on these older trucks I'm not they're not too worried about it looked into the everything else I told them and they said no she's she's running as she always has she's still doing good okay I got the green light we can give her at least I did my due diligence and uh, told the shop when I thought there was a problem with the truck because if I didn't tell them and it was actually a big deal and then it ended up blowing up they may have some questions for me that I wouldn't want to answer I brought it to them, explained what happened, and I did my part. They told me to give her. So I moved all my stuff back into this truck this morning. Got all my equipment back on the headache rack, all my chains, binders, tarp straps, my broom. And I'm glad, because now we got our back window back here. That comes in very handy. Like I was telling you, this truck turns very sharp, which helps a lot in the city. The other truck seemed to need 40 acres to turn around, but I did get it all nicely cleaned up and organized. There was all kinds of garbage all over it. I had a big box full of garbage and old straps and stuff that I gathered. We organized that all and put it all away. So at least the next person that uses that truck, you know, they're getting into a clean, organized truck. So we've arrived to the gold mines, uh, also known as the lumber yards. Look at all that lumber. Look at all that lumber. 
maybe one day if I save up all my money, I can get one stick. <laughs> I've been joking about the price of lumber on Facebook a lot lately. Is that everywhere? Is that like just a North America thing? How are you guys doing in Europe? How's lumber out there? Because lumber out here is shooting through the roof in price. That's one of the reasons we're not rushing building our house at all. And that's one of the reasons my parents are now kind of hesitating. Uh, they were going to start building this summer. And now they, they may wait a little bit. I don't know what their plans are yet. Maybe they will build anyway. But they're definitely hesitating uh, as they see the prices of lumber right now. They're three times, four times their regular rates. It's insane. It's like people are intentionally trying to crash everything. I mean, what's going to happen? We can't afford to build houses anymore. And the houses that are being built are skyrocketing in price because that has to reflect the price of the products that go into the house. And they're already skyrocketed. So, like, the price of houses are already up here. Then you add, like, a, a skyrocketing lumber price on top of that yet. And they go up even higher. But obviously, we're in a, a, a bit of a pandemic right now. And not everybody is working at full capacity. So not everybody's bringing home the same amount of dough. I mean, I've been very lucky. We're still very busy. We still got a lot to do, but there's a lot of people out there that aren't. So they're making less money and everything's getting more expensive in a hurry. It worries me a little bit sometimes, but you know, maybe that's a topic for a different channel, a different vlog. We're gonna keep this trucking focused here. We're picking up some gold. I, I, I mean, uh, we're picking up some lumber today and we're taking it all the way to Kansas City, Missouri. I'm not taking it there, but I'm taking it to our yard where another one of our fine highway drivers is gonna pull it all the way down there for some fine customers down there. Mm. And I apologize. Sometimes I have smudges on my lenses that I, I don't notice right away. It's a vlog, right? This is real TV. This isn't any of those edited TV shows or anything. It is what it is. So I apologize. There's still a smudge on there. I'll fix it. Thought I heard a dog barking. My puppy sense is tingling. I feel like there's a dog around here somewhere. I don't see him. Why would there be a dog here? That'd be dangerous. All this machinery moving around. No, it's probably just in my head. So Britt and I, uh, with our, our property, we weren't planning on building for the next five years anyways. Uh, it's 2021, so I'm thinking between 2026 and 2030 is when I'd like to have that house built. I want to be living in that house in the year 2030. I know it sounds like a long ways away, that's nine years away, so that should give us plenty of time. So at least five years, and it may take a few extra years in there, depending on the price of lumber, the price of other materials, the state of the world, uh, what happens in the world. I mean, there's some, I mean, you guys pay attention. I'm sure you do. A lot of crazy stuff going on. It's like a powder keg that's just about to blow up sometimes, you think. But hopefully everything is good and that everything works out. And uh, between 2026 and 2030, we can move into our new house. That's going to be our forever house. So we're taking our time because we want to do it right. We want to make sure that we get everything in there that we want in there uh, and that we uh, build it as efficient as possible because everything, again, keeps going up in price, up in price, right? So I wanna have it as efficient as possible. Solar energy isn't really an option uh, in Manitoba here uh, for a full, like for, to power the whole house permanently just because we don't get a lot of sunlight in winter time. So we'd still have to be on the grid for when that can't uh, power the whole house. But it is an option that I'm looking into to have as much powered by solar as possible. You know, and then there's getting the right windows that are the, the best insulate, insulating our walls properly, maybe building a double wall that's double insulated, uh, getting a high efficiency furnace. We've already got the air conditioner, so we're set there. It's high efficiency air conditioner. Just making sure that our future uh, is affordable. I, I hear stories of people out there all the time buying these big massive houses, tons of property tax and tons of bills and they didn't quite realize how expensive it is to maintain the house. Just because the bank's going to give you money for a big fancy house doesn't mean you can afford it because you have to factor in things that the bank won't. 
How much is it kind of going to cost to heat that thing in a Manitoba winter? How insulated are the walls and the windows? What's the attic look like? Uh, has there, is there any damage in there that you're going to have to fix? Is there mold? If you're building a new house, again, what's it going to cost to keep that house comfortable? Like heat-wise and air conditioning. What are property taxes going to be like? What's the neighborhood look like? Is the property taxes going to go up as the neighborhood develops around you? Or is it going to stay the same? Because, I mean, where we used to be, out in the bush there with that big piece of property, our property taxes were skyrocketing fast because it was developing fast around our property. And the more people that moved in there, the more developed it became, the more our land was worth. The more our land and property is worth, the more our property tax goes up, right? And I'm not even doing it. I'm just sitting there doing nothing and I'm watching the property tax rise without me even adding anything to the property. It's just because of everyone else building around us. So, ah, things we, that's why we're taking our time. Taking our time. No rush. I'm still waiting for the loader to come out here and start loading me up with this gold. I got the goods. You wanna go see what gold looks like in 2021? Get ready for it. Oh, oh there it is. Isn't she beautiful? I know you thought it'd be a different color right now. Gold is blue, didn't you know? Didn't you know? I don't even want to know what this is all worth. I'm pretty sure that uh, each one of these sheets is selling for about $95 right now. I think. Somebody can confirm that for me in the comment section. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. We skipped a bunch again, I know. I told you I was gonna try to keep the video simple for me today. I'd just like to have a little bit of a relaxing evening tonight and not spend a few hours editing. I hope you forgive me. I'll, I'll do my best to do even better next week. For once in a while, I just need to take it a little easy. But we're done our day now. We've been running around all day. We've worked a little bit uh, past six again. What's the time of 6.30? And it's time to head home. So I'm not sure yet who is taking that load of gold all the way down to Kansas City. But wherever they are, it's a nice easy load. The week is over. This is Friday, but I still have to come into work tomorrow for a few hours. Uh, they said it'd probably be about uh, 8 o'clock to 2 p.m. Transportation of dangerous goods training. They are paying us to come in, so there is that. They wouldn't ask us to come in on a Saturday for free. <laughs> Wasting half a day on my weekend to go to school? I'm very interested to see how the training differs from the last place I did it at. Because I passed the course, uh, it was in January of this year. And it's April now, so four months ago. It should still be fresh in my mind, but the course will be a nice refresher and then I should be able to just sail through the, the test or whatever they give us. All right, guys. Come on, come on, let's go. In the yard, all the way in the yard, guys. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it's good to be 